Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Kid Icarus Uprising. In the last episode, we did chapter 18, and we did, and we're, this episode we're doing chapter 19. Ignore everything to the right there. Uh, turns out when I initially recorded this episode, I, the entire video corrupted, and I already have the entire rest of the game um, recorded right now, which is why I have an insane amount of hearts, because when you beat the game, you get a lot, because of challenges. So, I have, and because of that, I have a very strong weapon going into this chapter, the Magnus Club, with four and a half stars in ranged and five stars in melee, with overall defense plus four. Oh, I have the wrong powers, though. So, I pretty much have two set powers, or power, like, groups. Uh, this one's for when I speed run a level because of a challenge. I have Mega Laser, Lightweight, Meteor Shower, and Tirelessness. That gets you going pretty quick. For ones that I have to survive and do, like, high intensities, I have Health Recovery, Pisces Heal, which I'm glad I can show off, Paralyze Heal, Brief Invincibility, and Mega Laser for a little bit of offense. Now, Pisces Heal, for anyone who doesn't know, if you would get finished by an attack, it'll actually heal you up. I believe level 1 will heal you up to about half HP. I do have level 2 around here, and I think that one gives you a full heal. Not 100% sure, because I'm not sure if there's any, like, higher... Oh, level 4. Yeah, I believe level 4 would actually uh, heal you completely. But it takes up a huge amount of space. So, not using that. This is what we're going to be using. So Magnus Club, just to talk about it for a little bit, for a little while. It is, in my opinion, probably one of the best weapons of the game, second to Flintlock Staff, in my opinion, because it has the second strongest melee attack, second only to the Ogre Club, and actually surpassing the Samurai, uh, the Samurai Blade, which is another extremely powerful melee weapon. It has the shortest range of, ever, of any weapon, with its longest attack being 14 meters in front of it with your forward dash shot. However, it also has the fastest charge in the game at one second alongside the Orum, um, the Orum Palm. So, that's a lot of records to have, being second best in melee damage and all the others. It actually also has a ton of ranged power too, although with short range you probably won't be using that much. But uh, yeah, we're going to use the Magnus Blade. And just a little piece of uh, trivia, uh, what Magnus uses is actually a, a sword, not a club. If you uh, have the idol for the Magnus Club, oop, don't want to do that. If you have the idol for the Magnus Club, it actually says it's styled after Magnus's sword, but we have it as a club. So that's a little confusing. Anyway, Lightning Chariot. There is one intensity gate on, um, at 6.0, which as you can see is why I beat it on that one. However, since I'm really far into the game, and I have a very strong weapon, I'm going to do it at 8.0 and see how that goes. Probably not the best choice, because it's a very long um, level. And actually, one other stat of the Magnus Club is the fastest out of every other club. So... Uh, it's not that much of a detriment. So, without any further ado, let's get started. I'm ready to roll! Then let's get to rescuing Palutena! Underworld troops on speed! So look at how we're just destroying everything with this club. One thing that uh, I haven't been able to show off yet because this is the first time I'm using a club is if you use it in the air, you can actually reflect pretty much every attack that comes at you back, unless it's like a laser. See, look at that. Just anything, if you just keep swinging. However, I would not probably recommend it because you gotta hit far off things. So yeah, we're going to space once again to get a way to break through Palutena's force field. And that's going to be a very, very long trek. Watch out for Mix when you're using clubs as well, because they'll be able to get pretty close, and they can take a hit or two. Also, uh, I really like the scenery that this uh, chapter gives you in the startup here. It's just like a nice dark night, and you're just traveling. I like it. Here's a Fort Oink. I'm not sure if we've actually seen this before in the Let's Play because I don't, 
I have very little memories of the uh, past recordings because it's been so long. It's been like at least two weeks by now. Ooh, yeah, you can't return, you can't uh, reflect those attacks. No, oh, well, they just stopped talking. I was going to let them finish in peace, but I guess not. Uh, this uh, this chapter actually has some pretty good dialogue on the uh, walking segment. Also, you cannot um, hit back these rockets either. You can make them explode, though. Oh, it went away. Ugh. Oh, what? I figured I would melee that. See, look, you can just sit here and just melee everything back at it. It's insane. Ah, see what I see with the say it said with the mix. They can just hit you with their tongue if they feel like it. That better have not hit me. I would have been mad. All right, and then we go. But we're just going, and we're in space. Once again, very, very beautiful. I do love myself some space scenery. It's almost like the dust rings of Saturn. Ew, watch out for those reaper looking things too. They're not reapettes. I don't even know what these enemies are called. Because they're not reapers and they're not reapettes, so... Dunno, man. Yeah, we can just break that shield easily. And uh, when you're uh, swinging your sword... When you're... Sword club in the air notice how you actually have a sort of projectile with your melee attacks that just kind of makes up for uh for the fact that you have no uh normal shots bad especially because there's lightning here that can hit oh there's too much too much too much Jeez. Ugh. almost there It says he can take the walk, but I'm not so sure. We just barely made it through that. Yeah, going to this chapter at Intensity 8.0 is a very big risk because it's a long chapter, to say the least. I've said that a lot, but the point still stands. The lightning chariot is in this tower, huh? Who dares trespass on my domain? Me, before you get hurt. Who said that? I've had many names in my life. Now I am called the Chariot Master. Oh, great! You're the guy I'm looking for. Listen, I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I borrow your chariot for a little while? Your foolishness is matched only by your rudeness. How dare you charge in here flinging unreasonable requests? Half a mind to turn you into galactic roadkill. You can't really blame him for being upset. That was kind of rude. Then I guess there's only one thing I can do. I'll go talk to this chariot master guy in person. He's at the top of this tower, right? That's right! Look at you acting all assertive. You're just grabbing life by the horns and shaking it until it moves. Shaking it until it moves. This is probably the hardest room for anyone who's using a club simply because the things pop in and out. It's much easier if you have continuous fire to deal with them. Also, notice how we're like knocking out some enemies in one hit. That's the power of the Magnus Club, even on 8.0. Oh, and just note that you can't actually knock things back uh, when you're not in flight. At least normally. Especially not with the th shots of the Magnus Club. Normally a club can 
repel shot or at least cancel shots with their charge attacks. Not so with the Magnus Club because its charge shots aren't like like pretty much any other club. Because all the other clubs have like a huge void that shoots out whenever you shoot, but this one's just like a normal shot. Okay, and notice how we're actually moving fairly quick for a club. It's nothing to scoff at. Uh, I do have health recovery. I'm gonna hold off for now. What's this room? Oh, it's this one. So we just have to, like, avoid all of this because there's going to be some enemies that appear up there. We can't quite hit them due to us having the shortest range in the game. So we'll just take it for now. Ignore it. And now go and hit this. And blow them up. Got a ninja palm there. And also Hades says some pretty good things in this chapter. There's actually a reference to uh, Donkey Kong later on, so look forward to that. Okay, here we go. Boom. The ultimate test. Can it take it out? Got it. And also, note that this weapon's strongest attack is the backwards charge shot. It creates a cyclone. It didn't shoot. It's not shooting. Do I have to, like, aim it upwards? Yeah, otherwise it hits the ground. So the backwards charge shot will hit multiple times, and it grows in strength as it goes on. Alright, we got these speed boots here, which ought to make us move pretty dang speedy. The ground here will actually alternate between blue and red being electrified. Walked right into that. Alright, once you see it stop, go over to the other side. Ooh, how did I not get destroyed there? Oop, go over to this side. I don't see why, how it's not... I don't see how I dealt with that as well as I did. That thing just didn't want to suck me up. Anyway, with that, we're almost at full HP. Oh, oh, we almost are at full H HP here. So we're going pretty well here. Just proves to you how good this Magnus Club is, especially with that overall defense up. Because normal, I'd be struggling to survive this. Knock this pillar down first, because it actually has a treasure chest on it. And this one has an enemy at the top, so knock it down as well. Oh, whoa, that did a ton of damage. Oh, I didn't know, realize I could uh, melee attack. And there's one on top of this one as well. So we're just going to smack him up. Second strongest melee attacks in the game. Takes those guys out in four hits on 8.0. That's pretty insane. Don't know if any of these other ones have anything on them. I doubt it. Yeah. And nothing there either. All right, let's move on then. And note, we're not even a third of the way through this, so hold on. Oh. Finding this tower is really a pain. Oh, someone sounds like he wants a piggyback ride. This <laughs> is just the condescendingness in that voice. Everything Hades says here is actually pretty condescending. And here's the Donkey Kong reference. Oh. Rude. Yeah, just straight up says it. Everyone else is like, this seems familiar. He just like, looks like the Chariot Master has played Donkey Kong. Oh, we gotta move! Yeah, playing with clubs on this chapter is actually pretty bad. There is a challenge for doing this club on, or doing this chapter with a club on 9.0, mainly because the slow speed of the club will probably hinder you in most of these rooms. Except if you're using the Magnus Club, because you're going to be moving at a fairly good speed. Especially with this one. This one moves pretty quick. You want to go as soon as you see the ball appear. And just move. Barely avoided it. Let's move on. Also, I, I really like the layout of this level. Because it's like you have an inside room and then you have a path upwards. I really like that for some reason. Despite the fact that it's a very long level, it's actually quite nice. I don't know. So that line right there actually makes a lot of people have theories about who the Chariot Master really is. I personally believe that he was a disciple to Thor, simply because he has like the lightning element you'll see when we fight him on the chariots. Oop, that was a 
kind of spoiler for the boss fight. But yeah, we fight him while we're riding a chariot. Uh, so, and there was a fight. Oh, we can't bring it out. There was a fight. There was a fight where, um, you know what? No, I'm not gonna explain this now. I'll explain it when he does. Because the boss fight is actually kind of an information dump. Oh, this level's good. Or this room's gonna be hard. Yes, I'm quite aware of that. Defense really isn't your strong suit, is it? Gosh, whatever. Defenses are for the weak and insecure. So here, if you just stand behind the- Oh, are you kidding me? They're both on me! Get off me! Jeez, get out of here. So if you just stand behind this, he can't really hit you? Oh, I can hit him from this distance. Wow. At least when he's sucking me. Giving me the good suck. I didn't even know I could do that. Well, geez. So yeah, there's your, uh... There's your strategy for this room. Otherwise, he'll, like, pull you into these mines. And don't go near the mines. You don't have to touch them for them to explode. You just have to be near them. Go ahead and give me so my me self a health recovery. Also, I just realized the boss of this chapter is going to be really hard with a club. Which, again, is why there's a challenge for doing it with a club. There's an oversized bowling ball and some ugly bowling pins. My troops are a worthy sacrifice for the sport of kings. Wow, he just like said, oh, well, if you're going to bowl them over, why not? Also, I barely missed. Jeez, that almost came back and straight up hit me. There we go, it was a spare. Oop, I didn't want to go this way. Avoid the ball, because it can hit you too. Avoid the nut. Got burn attack here, not too shabby. Now, let's just get out of here as quickly as possible. So, as to not die from ball. Cause of death? Ball. Did something- HOLY MOLY! I was like, did something show up? Uh, surely they did. You know, I'm just not gonna deal with this. That's way dangerous. There we go. Okay. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? A severe wind advisory is the effect of the head. Thanks for the heads up. But no little freeze is going to slow me down. Here, get him! Ooh, don't fall! Oh, that's dangerous. That's danger town. Yeah, I'm just gonna- See here while the crisis runs off. I don't have crisis recovery. Luckily, I don't think anything appears. Man, that was a bad idea doing that on the while I was in the uh, the wind. Is just ever gonna? Is it ever gonna come back? Geez, that took a good thirty seconds there. Um, if I do get into crisis recovery while fighting, I'll just use uh, Pisces heal. That'll handle it. There's only one that actually shoots at you here. And it's the one I'd rather like to hit, but I can't. Make it, make it, make it! I'm just gonna- <gasps> Whoa! It just killed me! Also, I need to charge. And my charger is nowhere near. Well, that's cool. Where is it? Oh, there it is. But that didn't even put me into crisis. That just killed me outright, and that was one- That was very obviously just one shot. Well, if I had known that, I would just use Pisces Heal and let it hit me. That's one downfall of using this club, is you can't hit things from a distance, which makes you run straight up to them and die. Ugh, at least we start in the same room. Oh, that's in that's aggravating. Here, get you. And now we got speed boots. That would have been nice earlier, you know, when we died. Would have been much more appreciated than... Oh! Okay, I thought I almost died. Then just a power that's not going to actually help me. And especially helps since I'm using a claw. Oh, please let me get through. There we go. Now I'll just ignore them because there's no way I'm going to hit them from a distance. Well, you know what? I was probably going to get absolutely decimated on the boss fight anyway if I had gone in at 8.0, so... Probably better this way. Jeez, one dash shot forward. This is way too powerful to be using on 7.0. But you know what? However the cookie crumbles. Look at that. It just shot straight through the rocket, too. It does have some uh, shot-canceling powers. Or a nerd. Nice. Just everything he says in this chapter is gold. It's not for amateurs. 
it's not for amateurs yet, it's pretty easy to navigate. Just make sure you boost here so you don't fall back to the bottom of the room. Keep on moving. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? You know that saying that there are no bad questions? Well, there are. This is one of them. We are not there yet! But I do wish there was a way to speed up this process. Wow, ticked her off. This actually can be a little hard with the Magnus Club because you have to aim for these tiny gems that are actually almost too far away to hit. There we go. Nope. Oh, it hit me for a, t a lot of damage, or did I have a lot of damage on me already? All right, hit this gem, and you don't want to use your forward dash shots, which have the longest range either, otherwise you're going to get nailed, which is a bad way to say that, but you know what? Whatever works. Luckily, our shots are strong enough to knock him over. Oop. There we go. I'll deal with the snowman later. Okay. Take him out with like a few hits. Well, that was an odd dash. All right, take care of you. Last time I did this chapter, I did it with like claws. So if you're dealing with um, that enemy with claws, you're pr likely moving so fast that he can't even hit you anyway. Oh, geez, that, that had a lot of range. Dude, stop dashing. There we go. Now fill that up and kill. It's not really that hard to avoid a shot. And here we get a drink of the gods. Are we at the end yet? Well, not really. Because that was just the first half of the level. I know, it's kind of crazy. I'm offering 100 gold for the pot's head. The name's Pit. Yes, I know. Your tenure as a ring doesn't seem to have had any effect on that with your You know that I was turning to a ring? No. Is it a secret? The don't mind me. Mom. Did you turn me into a ring? Wow. You really are clueless. Don't you know, Pit? You're the cause of all this chaos. What? That makes no sense. Don't let him get to you, Pit. The Underworld Army is the one to blame. Why, thank you. That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard you say. You know what? You're annoying. Yao, she's feisty. Wear gloves with this one, minions. <laughs> oh, it got me. I didn't expect it to use its spin attack. At least we can easily kill it at close range. Is there another one? Okay, no, so we're good. Uh, I'm gonna stay on the... Oh, I have all my health recoveries, that's right. So this is the room that actually has the intensity gate. We can't even hit that guy. Here. Bully this guy while we're here. There we go. I believe... Oop, there's another one of these. We'll go ahead and take him out for the lels. There's some food over here that we can take. Just don't get hit by that. Like I just did. Does, like, no damage, though, so who even cares, to be fair? Uh, I think we want to... Ooh, nope. <laughs> we want to go to the right. Or the left. All right, we have another one of them up here. Easily just shoot it. Notice how there's actually a treasure fish going up here. I don't even know if I can get to that from here. Oh, it just dropped smart bombs. I don't need them. If it had dropped, like, a power or something, I would have gone back for it. Oop, didn't see him there, and he knocked me into the hole. And that starts you off way at the beginning. Okay, I see you. Oh, it's doing this. Okay. At least it can't shoot through that. It looked like it was shooting through that. Did I turn him? That's weird. Move out of the way. Okay. See, I, I'm, I'm careful. I don't want to, like, wiggle out of it too aggressively, or I'll just dash straight into the pit. Anyway come over here you have a six intensity gate all it has is one treasure chest with an item in it not that extravagant but you know what it works and with that i believe we're coming close to the end that was an odd angle there also he's a commissioned officer Ooh. Get this eggplant wizard quick. He's saying that their enemies are on their way. Clever, huh? Yeah? Well, I would have a club your face sandwich. Hope you're hungry. <laughs> Get it? A club your face sandwich because we have a club? Yeah, I know it was bad. Here. These guys really can't even hit us because we have the uh, thing rotating around us. Take out the gobbler or whatever it is. And take out the rest of the snakes, which I forget the name of because they're so tiny they don't even matter. These guys, oh, nope, they can get to me now. Also, there's a, 
Yep, there's a tank, which I forget the name of. Uh, did the chest run away? Oh, it did. I was like, I thought there was a chest right behind me. Kill the Scuddler first. Now uh, we'll deal with that later. Whoop! Keep dashing. Okay, we dodged. Okay, we should be able to knock this thing out in just a few hits. Jeez, I am eating it! There we go. Alright, deal with these two Scuddlers now. Ooh, Don't do it! Okay, somehow we dodged two in a row. Here, next time he tries to shoot at me, I'm just going to use Pisces Heal. Alright, use it. Boom. We recover... That's a little less than half. Maybe four is full because it skipped a few levels. Oop, hopefully it doesn't hit me. We should be able to beat him real quick. There we go. And that's it for this room. And we do have a drink of the gods there. But we're still not at the end, believe it or not. The treasure chest disappeared. Okay. Yeah. And in addition to this, you can probably imagine that they give you a drink of the gods before the last boss, or before the last room, because of the boss. So this level is so long that it warrants three drink of the gods. It's kind of insane. I didn't even kill that hand door with one charge shot. Even on 7.0. Honestly, if I do be on this on 7.0, that's still quite an achievement. Just because of the sheer length of this level. It's insane. I mean, I, already, I even had to use my Pisces heal already. After losing. Okay, here. Get the mix. I don't think anything actually attacks you here. If for you, if you were using any other club, you wouldn't even be able, be able to hit him because you're moving fast. Oh, it... oh I missed it. Eloquent. Also, what's my roommate doing? He's just like standing out there with his keys jingling. I didn't want to say that one too loud. Okay, I accidentally hit the chair robot, but. It is appreciated. Also, I like how the mono Mick nose splits into the mono eye, the Mick, and the uh, spec nose whenever you defeat it. Which, yeah, that's the name of it. It's literally a mono Mick nose. The combination of the three names. Oh, you know what we. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say. This is a very good place to get the challenges that say uh, defeat 15 enemies with melee attacks on a Cherubot before getting out. Yeah, there's more than enough enemies here to do it. I've already done it at a previous, uh, actually in my first recording of this, so it doesn't really matter for me. However, your melee attacks are much stronger than usual. Or, not more stronger than usual, but more stronger than your, uh... More stronger, I shouldn't say that. It's better than your ranged attack, so if you can, I would recommend meleeing enemies, because you'll probably knock practically everything out in one hit. Also, it's laying out a lot of mono eyes. Here, take out the four oink. Still not sure if this is the first chapter you see it on, but... Or maybe it was an oink fort. And that's the end of them. Hmm. Are we there Good job, and no, not yet. Yeah, there sadly enough. Yeah, we're three minutes in, we're still not done. And this special treat kind of worries me, considering, I mean, it's Veridi. Can easily take out all of these, uh... Or I guess he's gone. Well, now he's not. And suddenly that guy. Yeah, I remember that from the first time I went through, so it didn't surprise me. Take that out. Yep, we get a hot spring from Viridi, which is a contrast to Palutena, whose uh, idea of a present is having a pheromone that attracts uh, giant heads of Hudral. I have some exciting news for both of us. The Chariot Master is just ahead, so you can finally stop asking me if we're there yet! So yeah, there's nothing in this room. That that um, spring basically acted as our... Alright, sorry for all the cuts. My roommate's just loud, I guess. He's never usually loud, but I guess he's just really feeling it tonight. The Lightning Chariot! Grab the reins on Foss there. Gee, thanks! You misunderstand. This is no gift. If you want the lightning chariot, you must prove your work. You need two unicorns to pull the lightning chariot. That means you have to defeat the chariot master and get the other one. That won't be a problem. 
Sorry, I actually beat that really quick. Apparently, you, I didn't know that you got extended range if you use a club, so... Yeah, there's a lot of things I skipped there that I didn't want to. <laughs> I seem to have drowned in your reservoir of strength. You've proven yourself worthy of my lightning chariot. Wait, I don't want it to end this way. This is the only way things can end for an old warrior. I have no regrets. I'm trusting you with Foss and Lux, and the future of this realm. He was an honorable warrior. Don't let his death be in vain. Now let's go save Palatina. Alright, so we actually skipped a ton of very important and really good dialogue here there, so I'm going to explain it. Basically, he says that Foss and Lux were given to him by his master. Um, and if anyone who is familiar with Greek lore uh, would think hard about that and do a little research, I'm not. That sounded really condescending, uh, but I'm not. I don't. I'm not a master at Greek lore. Um, in a battle that Zeus waged with his uh, with his army, basically, after they or no, this was before. Zeus gave one present to each of his warriors, and since uh, Foss and Lux were given to the Chariot Master by his master, he, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good connection there, especially since Fox, Foss and Lux are lightning-based. And he also says that his entire squadron was, like, taken out in war. The same with Zeus. Uh, Zeus's squadron was destroyed by the war. So, that's a pretty strong correlation there. Uh, also, Foss and Lux are both Greek and Latin for the word light, just so you know. That break, that basically, can, uh, wow, what am I trying to say? Wraps up everything I want to talk about him. Overall defense plus three, not too good. A lot of shot homing for a staff, that's not bad. Burn attack, I uh, also, if I'm correct, I think we're unlocking a, a thing here that I don't want to show off quite yet. Yeah, don't look at this, uh, don't look at this screen. Uh, if you're not looking, uh, I just acquired all stabs and I got the uh, defeat the Chariot Master while in the lead on the Chariot Track. So those are the two things I unlocked. Anyway, with that, in the next episode, we're going to do Chapter 20, Palutena's Temple. See you all then, and goodbye.